We're working on that, and uh, uh, we expect to see some engineers in the near future which will carry a car from one point to another, 3,000 miles without a recharge. Uh, most cars nowadays only have 100, 100 miles, and we plan to put it in a, uh, a Chrysler or similar minivan for a family to go from one point to another. And also, my favorite goal is to build a 40-foot electrocraft, electrodynamic propulsion, no gasoline, and no jet fuel, but the people won't, who uh, give us the electric or the uh, the fuel and the uh, gasoline and oil won't lose anything because it, it will it will take even more jobs to create this craft, the parts that are needed on this craft, and people would even get richer. The oil men would even get richer with this product. So there's no problem there of destroying what is already here. We're just going into something which is better and will not pollute the earth. There's no pollution. Uh, after, in too, not too long a time, they will come down and they will all see us all. And we're expecting that. Uh, but we have to raise our consciousness to the point where they are not coming down and talking to savages. They want to talk to good people that don't kill each other. Then they will come down and we can join them in peace and harmony. Today, all of them are incarnating for the last time to accompany mankind on its last phase of ascension. They were prepared for this time during many previous lifetimes in order to help all people to become masters themselves. The time has come for you to wake up to the fact that you, by your own choice, will serve mankind. Millions of beings know unconditional love. Thus they will raise vibrations simply by their presence so that the purification process will start. And spiritually, no stone will be left unturned. What I share with you today, maybe it plants some idea inside of you, maybe it registers someplace with something that you already know, that your impulse to awaken in yourself and maybe you're afraid, maybe you don't understand it, maybe you're concerned that you'll change too much. I believe in change and I believe that the survival of the species and the transformation of the planet involves tremendous change. The message that the Pleiadians give is one of understanding the isolation that the human species has been uh, locked within. They um, call the present version of the um, human species modern man, saying that um, basically we spring from an experiment that began about a half a million years ago, and that the gods um, that created us are extraterrestrial beings who uh, in reality have forgot their own gods and these extraterrestrial beings are going through their own process of change at this time and because they created us because we're a part of how they learn we're involved and they're involved in this time of coming together <clears throat> What the Pleiadians have taught me is that this coming together, this collapsing of time, this merging of consciousness that's taking place between all species on the earth plane has to do with something that is going to create, um, let me see how I can put it, a new geometric um, thought form, a new geometry of being that's literally going to move through our universe and change the entire course of our universe. They have told me and told the people that uh, they speak to that the human species um, genetically has very different organizational structure than we've been led to believe. They said that the um, evolving human, the human that will uh, merge, emerge on this planet, will have 12 strands of genetic material, and these 12 strands of DNA will activate within the human full brain capacity. Um, this is something that uh, is quite a lot to consider 
and yet I can say in the last few years of working with these energies that the process has begun to take place inside of me. I've changed. I have abilities that I did not have before. I have understandings that I never had before. And I have assistance that's based on um, non-physical presence that I know is always with me. And I, I feel that the message I'm led to share with you is that these beings are around all of us. And that if you would relax, and if you reconsider who you are, you can open to this very wonderful relationship that's really a relationship with another form of yourself. Only a few of these people with a higher understanding are conscious of where their soul originates from. When entering space and time, they lose their consciousness. By increasing the level of vibration, they will all remember their true identity. While earthquakes and other events increase in intensity, holding the attention of the ordinary world, the extraterrestrials and the chosen ones will complete their spiritual and physical ascension into the fifth dimension. In the next 20 years, groups of people will ascend three times and be spiritually removed. Their subatomic vibration will be raised, their universal body activated to such a level that they will no longer experience death or disease. Indeed, death, age, and illness are experiences of duality in third dimension. This spiritual and physical resurrection coincides with our contact with the lightships of the Galactic Federation. The extraterrestrial keepers are observing the process of the ascension of the sixth root race, the seed for the race of Christ or Bodhisattva. I think it's important to understand that the planet Earth is receiving higher energies at this point in her evolution. Consequently, she's going through a birthing process, labor pains, earthquakes, disasters, etc. Due to these changes, and what's activating these changes, is higher energies coming into the planet. And these energies are also activating changes within every human being. These energies are also activating energy matrices that already lie within the very various levels and energy fields of our body, of our being. And the light body is being created quite naturally as it responds, as we respond to being beings who live within the energy fields of planet Earth. But there is a lot that a person can do to speed this process up, and that is, again, through choice, through consciousness, through where we are choosing to align our focus, to align our energies. So the Merkabah is another name for your body of light. The creation of the light body is happening naturally. A lot of people are now experiencing bouts of flu. They're really bouts of light. They're going through a lot of physical changes, chest pains, which is really the heart chakra opening, headaches, which is the light coming in and activating certain parts of their brain. We are going through a huge shift in consciousness. It's obvious on the physical plane and it's obvious within the physical bodies of mankind. In 1987, the forerunners of the Children of the Stars and many consciously ascending humans activated the first period of cleansing around the planet. This was achieved by united meditation for world peace at a set date at countless locations on Earth. The results of this harmonious convergence were indescribable. The great changes between East and West started. World peace and mankind's yearning for harmonious change reflected the tremendous energy which arrived on Earth. The children of the light, as incarnated humans, helped these energies via meditation into mankind's collective subconscious. This energy is the first beam of light which Earth has received from the central sun of our spiritual origin. On the 11th of January, 1991, at 11.11 a.m., the magnetic network of the fourth dimension became activated. 
the children of the light gathered by the thousands in geomantic energy sites on Earth, also called the chakras of the Earth. On January 11, 1992, hundreds of thousands of people gathered together all over the planet in groups large and small and performed a series of unified movements and together we opened the doorway of the 11-11. Now, ever since we first came to planet Earth, we've been evolving along a spiral of evolution that was anchored in duality. And this is the very first time the uh, activation of the 11-11 has given us the opportunity to move to another spiral of evolution anchored in oneness.